Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. I know this is called Tesla Talks. There is no uh, Tesla involved in here today. Well, there is something though. It is a product review. You know how I like to do product reviews uh, with different things for Teslas or even the cars itself and stuff like that. This has four wheels and it does have a battery. So it's sort of like Tesla related. It's, I guess you could say it's an EV. <laughs> It is a, a new lawnmower, an electric lawnmower. I've, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if the, the angle is picking up the grass. It's, for one, it's long, but uh, I've got this and then some grass up at the front uh, that I like to take care of. It's one of my hobbies in the summer. I like uh, good manicured lawns and stuff like that. And I, I take care of it as best as I can. And for years, I've had this uh, gas mower and I've wanted to in the last two or three years go away from gas obviously you know with, with with the ev and everything and um i've researched it researched it and then yeah there's some awesome lawnmower gas not gas or ev lawnmowers out there or electric lawnmowers battery operate how do you call how, how do you call it battery electric lawnmowers now greenworks has two brands it has greenworks and then has the greenworks pro that's like another level of of their brand and i guess the pro speaks for itself and says says what it is anyways this sucker just came uh this one's from costco uh it is available at costco and it isn't available at costco <laughs> it took me a while to get it it was on sale and uh it went on sale then it was in stock and it was still on sale and it came. anyways long story short this was very very hard for me to get a hold of and um and i finally got a hold of one and uh i'm gonna do a quick unboxing and a quick uh review now this is really really heavy like I think this thing, I think on the shipping label, I need to get uh, help to bring it in. It said it was like 65 pounds or something like that. So, I mean the battery, it's an 80. Let, let me just give you the specs on it first. I'll go to the front. Um, that's obviously where it came from. Um, it's an 80 volt lithium max. So it's an 80 volt uh, battery or architecture. Uh, it's got a fast charging, uh, rapid charging battery. It's a 21 inch uh, mower. So. I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with mowers and I'm not gonna give you a, a lesson, I'm no expert in mowers. And it's got, it's a three in one. It does the bagging, mulching, or out to the side. And uh, it's got adjustable height and stuff. Just typical things that a, a lot of um, lawn mowers do. But like I said, this is a high capacity five amp battery. Um, and it, um, it's it's a good size battery. I've got the, the weed, trimmer version of this and the battery is a good size battery so now i've got two batteries two things i'm i'm as you can see here i'm building my arsenal uh it's a brushless motor let's open it up uh you don't need to know all that you, you can i'll put a link down in the description below you can uh research it on your own but um take my word for it i've done some research and it looks like this is a good sucker a few of my friends also got this as uh, I did because it was such a good sale. I, I told a lot of people about it and uh, some people were in the market for a new lawnmower and picked it up with me. Oh yeah, so this is really nice inside. This is how big the charger is. <laughs> so you can get an idea of how big the battery is gonna be, right? No more gas. Oh, yeah, here's the battery. This battery weighs on its own, probably weighs about 10 pounds. It's, it's a good sized battery. It's a big sucker. Uh, the bag, we don't need that right now. And then literature, instructions and stuff like that. I don't know how I'm gonna take this out on my own without throwing my back out here. I have to ha get help. This is the uh, side chute, the little, it just puts it in a direction. So here it is. I'm gonna do my best to pick it up and not throw my back out. So I can show this sucker to you. And hopefully I don't drop it and break it on camera. Okay, there it is. We can get out of the box now. And of course there's a, a little bit of assembly required, which, which is normal. In my opinion, unless you have a big lawn, a lot of property to buy if you have an average size property to buy a gas mower in this day and age, it's just not worth it. And then it just clips into here, different height adjustments. That works really good. That's very good engineering, smart. Okay, 
and then this obviously goes on to here. I don't even know if I'm still on camera or not. Okay, so that is it. This is the green works. I've waited like almost a month for this for this sucker. I'll open the battery. I guess the battery is what you guys want to see the most. So this is the battery. 80 volts. Like I said, it weighs about 10 pounds. It's got circuitry. It's not just battery. Inside here, it's got some uh, ventilation and it's, I can see some circuitry in there. So it's an intelligent battery. And if you press here, oh, see one, so it's a third full. I, I guess they can't uh, ship these fully charged, which makes sense. Some places ship the battery separately from the unit. Okay, so let's see how this goes in. There's a chute here and there's a safety key. And I think it just slides in. Yeah, and it clicks, and there's a safety key here. I guess when you're not using it, you can take the key out so it doesn't start without the key. I put the key back in. It is a third full, so let's let's turn it on and see how it sounds. See what happens. We're not gonna be mowing anything, obviously. Uh, make sure the legs aren't too low. Yeah, there's the blade. It's a sharp, sharp blade, wow. You wanna see underneath it? Here, I'll show it to you. I'll lift it up from this end. I don't know if you can see it from there. <laughs> it just, it just hit the, <laughs> I just hit the uh, accelerator there when I put it on the <laughs> cushion over here. Almost went out of my hand. <laughs> I'll put it up here when I do it. Press the button and you pull back the throttle. It's pretty quiet. I mean, for lawnmowers, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> and like I said, then on the side here, you have the uh, side chute where you can put the attachment in. Uh, the height adjustments, it adjusts to seven different heights. That was probably the lowest. And uh, then the back chute here um, to where you put the bag on. Everything looks super clean now, but you know that won't last. Oh, there's actually a compartment here. I don't know if you can see, you lift this up. There's a, some kind of compartment. You have to press. Ah, and pull it out of way. Oh, okay. Oh, so you put this on. This is like a diverter. You put this on to divert grass clippings not only it does it just hit this which this is spring loaded and it sits down but I guess it's not sealed perfectly so you put that diverter on and that way it mulches or it goes to the side chute huh, interesting it's been about 15 years since I bought a mower anyways it may rain right now so we'll probably won't be able to test this puppy out I want to charge the battery so probably tomorrow or in for you it'll be like 10 seconds we're going to test out this more so I've charged up the battery and what I discovered I did some research this 80 volt uh, 5 amp battery it takes about an hour it took about an hour to charge but it'll get the performance out of this will get 75 minutes uh, of mowing so an hour and 15 minutes uh, and then you charge it back for another hour and you're good luckily I've got a second battery so I don't have to worry about that so we'll install the battery in here. Uh, come over here to the key. Took the key out so my son doesn't play with it. Put the key back in and I close it back down. And it's on magnets. The door is on magnets, so that's pretty cool. We'll start her up. Now that's the path that it cut. Uh, maybe I, maybe I'll raise it a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit too low. So 
there you have it folks all finished i did the whole entire yard and let's check the battery see what the battery is at here um if we were to press a button we're three bars still unbelievable uh that was yeah it's still saying three bars now that was about half hour to 40 minutes of continuous mowing and i don't don't ask me what the square footage of my lawn and my front and back is combined but that's amazing let me just show go through the things and show you here quickly that is the start button but you have to press this in while you pull back on the throttle here to uh engage the actual the motors of the blades and then coming over here this is your uh self propel throttle that all the way down there is slow as you can see the turtle there denotes that and then a hair up here denotes it for fast many times i was actually doing it and i didn't need it so but if you do need it like on inclines and stuff like that or uphill it's not bad to use it for that but it's so light it's so much lighter than my um, gas one and uh, it cuts great it's nice and quiet i mean it still makes noise but it's definitely quieter than the gas mower i i can actually you know if i raise my voice i can actually have a conversation next to somebody while the motor's still going maybe i just stop and the motor can keep going but i can have a conversation i don't have to pull the start or press a button it's easy to start it back once it stops i was just mulching and it did a good job of mulching the 21 inch i guess path 21 inch path is is a great combination to have with the self-propelling my other older gas mower was it also 21 inch this seems smaller but the path the 21 inch path mowing path seems to be about the same so it's a smaller unit and also lighter but also does the same work as the uh, 21 inch gas mower so a great investment overall folks uh, i highly suggest it i mean look at this thing the the grass is nicely cut took no time at all and uh, I mean, I have, what I didn't say is I actually have the weed trimmer version of this too, that I also got on sale. Also comes with a battery, but I don't need it. I could just take that battery out of there and now it swaps in and out. And if I need the weed trimmer battery, it, which is a smaller battery, like I said, this is a five amp. The weed trimmer one, I think is about two or two and a half amps. So a little bit less time, but if I ever did run out of juice, I have got a second battery plus two chargers. This is a great ecosystem to have. And when I get the uh, snow blower, for the winter time i also get the greenworks one then i've got the interchangeable battery for that too so i highly suggest it folks if you have any questions or anything like that regarding uh things that i maybe didn't touch on uh leave them down in the comments below and uh, i'll try to answer them but this is a great investment and i think uh this is the way of the future no more gas i don't have to pay for gas i don't have to smell gas it's a great feeling not uh, mowing the lawn and being able to hear things around you but also uh, not smelling like gas afterwards or having to go to the gas station to get a jerry can of gas which I have, have which I've been doing for the last few years and now I don't have to do that it's electric I plug it in and uh, store the batteries in the winter when I don't need to and this also folds up very very nicely for winter storage so when I'm not using it in winter it folds up very nicely just undo these undo those and it sits upright anyways folks that's all I got thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one take care bye bye